Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins for a place you know you can trust. What's up guys, Kets here and welcome to Swansea City Career Mode Episode 10. Now, we've got another, another massive episode for you guys today. I don't know exactly how long this one is. It's around 7 minutes, I believe. I tried to keep it a little bit shorter. I could have gone into 8 or 9 minute mark, but the last game I really cut down as small as possible because I don't want these to be getting so long because then it makes it even harder for me to make them as frequently as I am as every other day. But uh, as you can see, we are coming up against Arsenal now. If you remember, in the last game, we had them in the Capital One Cup and we managed to take them out on penos. This time we got them in the league and... I need to win this game. I can't be dropping points. Five at the back, four in the middle, one up top. Let's go. World class. Thank you very much. In the back, we have Danilo, Chico, Nastasic, Kulka, and Tindali. Tindali over, Taylor and Short. Then the CDM is key. Britain is tired. Uh, then we have Hernandez, Coutinho, De Guzman, and Ibarbo. Now... I, uh, I played De Guzman because he's quite defensive. He's more of a uh, defensive cam, which is what I want. Uh, I want him to be able to help out. We uh, I got some very, very quick players, some of the quickest I could, so we could be straight onto them, pressing them, getting straight stuck in, and the fact they were playing Murtasaka, I believe, uh, affected that decision quite massively. They got close here in the 69th minutes to getting a goal with Aaron Ramsey, but they weren't close enough, or wasn't close enough, whichever you'd like to say. Uh, and then I made some subs. I decided to bring on Michu for Ibarbo, Adrian for De Guzman, because I just like Adrian, and uh, I can't remember the other sub I made, but uh, I think it might have been Sterling coming on to unleash some of that pace. And Adrian starts off perfectly. Beauty. Absolute beauty. Beats the defence and finesse into the top corner with so much ease. He could have done it with his big Brazilian eyes closed. Now Sterling picks up the ball in the 90th minute, whips it in, and Michu was close to getting a second, but... Uh, that was all we managed to get. A 1-0 lead, though, against Arsenal is at a 1-0 win at the Emirates is absolutely incredible. They outplayed us for possession and for shots, but we just had one extra shot on target, and that must have just been what made the difference. We won it, and now we have Norwich. We're coming up towards, like, the middle of December. It's going to start getting interesting soon. More cups are popping along, more fixture congestion. Our players, as you can see here, everyone's growing really well. We've got plus fives, we've got plus twos, we've got plus fours. Everyone is going at a good, good rate, which is what we like to see. We like to see an improvement. We like to see our players getting better and better. And now we're coming up against Norwich. Of course, they're not going to grow at ridiculous pace if I'd been using them in, say, semi-pro or professional, because obviously I'd be winning games 5 6 nil, uh, and getting easy wins. But world class, you can still scrape those wins through like we are. And we come up against Norwich this time and uh, it's quite quite an important game here again another one that's a must win uh, we're playing it on world class I'm playing the usual 4-2-2 formation I believe we are starting with Britain and Key as the two CDMs um, took quite a while here just staring at De Husman. I don't really know why exactly I did that but uh, we had Coutinho um, Adrian, yep, Key and Britain, the usual back four of Danilo, Zuma, Kulka, and Short. And I believe we stuck with Ibarbo and Buckle Michu as the two strikers. And uh, I did switch them around, so Ibarbo was on his stronger foot. And they were playing their 4 4 2 formation with Holt and Thirao. I'm not, I think that's how you say it, as their two main strikers. They're missing Anthony Pilkiar. Pit. Pilkington and Luciano Becchio. I tried to mix their two names together. I don't really know what's going on. But uh, again, this was uh, this was quite a, an interesting game. Not so great for me here. Relatively quick after the uh, kickoff. You watch that player there just got absolutely flopped. And he doesn't actually stand up. Uh, as you see here, it goes back to him. And Kulka was destroyed. They absolutely pummeled him there. Fell on him. And uh, I think it was cruciate. Oh, no. It was broken ankle. Sorry. Broken angle. That's not good. He's not going to be back for a while. So we've lost Kulka. That to start off with is bad. I suppose. On the plus side, we did end up getting Zuma right at the end of the transfer window. So we are left with Nastasic and Zuma for a little while. But Kulka has been possibly our best uh, defender and has played a huge role. And now as we're playing a world class with some big games coming up, that's not really going to help. But uh, it went to halftime and it was nil-nil. Was, other than that injury, it was a very quiet uh, first half. Usually I find that on world class, we either have very, very busy games with loads of goals or like that means like five plus or we have games where it's one-nil. So we, I never seem to have like... 2-1 or anything. It just doesn't happen anymore. But uh, And then Michu. Michu got injured and this one was far worse. I'll tell you the exact dates after the game for their return but Michu had cruciate ligament damage. I think it was uh, yeah anterior cruciate ligament. That is not, not good at all. Now uh, that obviously means we're going to have to change our formation etc. We don't have any other strikers really. We have Schechter who's 71 but he's 
He's not so good, <laughs> to put it nicely. So we bought on Sterling for uh, Michu, and Sterling actually sets up the ball here to uh, Ibarbo. Ibarbo with a nice little bit of turn in. Completely floors the player, and bang, into the back of the net. Goalie could not do anything about it. And that meant we got the 1-0 lead, which is what we needed. We needed to be winning this, even if we just scraped it. We've used two of our free subs, so we're not going to be able to get many fresh players. And it actually ended 1-0. Now, we lost Kulka and Michu, which is disastrous. Um, could be horrendous for our season. And as you will see on the screen now... Kulka's out for three months. Oh, that's not good. Maybe we can get past it. Mitru is out for seven months. That's it. The rest of the season, no Mitru. We are left with Ibarbo. If Ibarbo goes, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. He is basically our only striker left. If we end up with just Schechter, then we're, we're destroyed. Now, I said to you guys, I've been getting international management. I got one here from Greece. I didn't know what to do. I cycled through them. We had Greece. We had Ireland. We had a few others. And bang. I went for Greece. Why did I go for the Greece one? I don't know. But I'm now the Greece manager. I thought it'd be something fun. I quite like Greece national team. It looks quite cool. And uh, maybe we can do something with it to make this a little bit more interesting. But uh, we can't get Spurs in our last game of the episode. Like I said, I tried to cut it down to keep it relatively short. I'd messed around with the team in the team management screen on the main like menu bit. And uh, this is what I was left on with Schechter and Ibarbo as the two strikers. I did also bring on Taylor, but uh, I guess it's a weakened attack, but we stuck with 4-2-2, and hopefully we could get something out of it. And 24 minutes into the game, Victor Ibarbo picks up that ball, absolutely just burns away from the defenders. Nice, easy one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, and bangs it into the back of the net. Nice and simple stuff there. Very, very calm. Good pace there to get it to us. And that many was 1-0 as we went in at half-time. Now, obviously, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't win this game. I wasn't expecting to win, but we were in a great situation. But then on the 72nd minute, Defoe had a shot which Raphael made an absolute mess of. Dropping it straight to him. I had to quickly go and make subs because it just wasn't working out for me. I had just bought on Sterling for uh, Ibarbo uh, and we also bought on Pablo Hernandez as well. I thought it would just power on the pace here. Uh, Sterling, uh, Pablo Hernandez and Key came on but they didn't make any difference and it ended 1-1. So that's not bad though. A point at the lane. Not bad at all. That is the end of this episode though guys. Spurs was relatively even somehow but uh, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. The support you've been showing me has been absolutely incredible. Keep showing that support would be amazing. Thanks Thanks again for watching guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.